Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Yvonne Blasco is here. So I stumbled onto baking soda. Um, it's kind of been, you know, highly touted off and on. You know, some think it's a myth. Others see some, you know, use for it. I'm going to go ahead and break it down in this video, and particularly an application on how it can actually boost fat loss. Now, first off, I'm going to make the disclaimer that I'm not a medical doctor. This is not uh, medical advice. This is just my personal opinion and expressing my own personal experiences and, and research that I've done on this. Now, with that being said, there are obvious caveats. Those with high blood pressure, uh, it's been shown that this could be a, a caveat or side effect because it is sodium bicarbonate. That's what baking soda is. And it could be a significant source of sodium. As well as you have some people who maybe um, you know, just have a inclination towards side effects with it and obviously excesses. Case reports have shown um, you know, consuming it uh, beyond what's on the box or the label to consume um, or use in, in, in cooking is not advisable, like anything, quite frankly. We can actually consume too much water and get water intoxication. So what is, what is baking soda? Well, as I said, it's sodium bicarbonate. It's a salt composed of sodium and bicarbonate ions, all right? Uh, it's a common household item. It's known for, uh, you know, use in cooking, for like making things, you know, like leaven or, or, or expand. And also it's uh, used for cleaning and it's all even used for toothpaste. It's got some, obviously, it's got some apparent tooth whitening effects. So initially I was skeptical coming out of my background in exercise physiology. And, um, you know, we used to view the, this as kind of a supplement or some sort of a gimmicky kind of a thing. But I will say that I think it's flying under the radar. And I think it's an amazing home remedy, and I've personally used it um, off and on for the last week, um, only using a quarter, an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter, not even half a teaspoon. I'm just using less because I want to be very judicious and prudent about it. But I will tell you, I noticed a difference in my performance when I was doing uh, the Airdyne fan bike. I was averaging 2,400 calories an hour um, for 30 second intervals. And I can, it feels like almost like creatine. You know how creatine extends our, um, you know, our first, the phosphagen system, the first energy system? I almost felt like the baking soda did it as well. Um, now, I'll probably make a future video comparing creatine and baking soda, but I'm going to tell you right now that in exercise physiology, what happens is when we train at a high intensity, we produce metabolic byproducts, like acidic, by, such as lactic acid, as we've probably become f uh, familiar with. Lactic acid gets buffered by bicarbonate in the body, and that yields or produces carbon dioxide, and that's what makes us actually get out of breath. A lot of people think that we get out of breath because we're trying to bring in oxygen faster. We're using oxygen faster than we're bringing in. That's actually been shown to not necessarily be true. What's actually happening is we're actually gassing off carbon dioxide. What's happening is, yes, we're probably not getting enough oxygen in the muscle, but we're also producing excess carbon dioxide from anaerobic metabolism. That's one of the byproducts, as I just mentioned, um, with the buffering of lactic acid by bicarbonate. And so we, we, it, it triggers our body, it triggers the, um, the brain to signal exhalation or to increase respiratory rate to gas off a lot of the CO2, right, to buffer. So um, anyway, what I've noticed is I feel like that buffering was happening in my last couple workouts. Now, what's the fat burning zone aspect to this? Well, research has shown, and this is what I've known because I'm a master of fat loss. Not only do I, do I, I'm living proof of it, not just in the past, but even now all the time. Um, but from a, from a uh, science-based perspective, Typically, high acidic situations like high intensity exercise has been shown to impair lipolysis. Now, I've made videos how we can burn fat at, at a higher rate at high intensity. Yes, that's true. But traditionally, it's been proposed that we lose that fat burning effect when we train at a high intensity. Well, guess what? Bicarbonate acts to reduce this, uh, this acidic environment. So what happens is it doesn't reduce how much acid we produce. We actually produce more acid. But guess what? It gets buffered. It gets neutralized by the bicarbonate. So we're actually able to train at a higher acidic level without reaping the, um, the downside of acidity like fatigue. It's really remarkable research. I uh, highly recommend you check it out, guys. So I'm going to close this out by saying that I view baking soda as a supplement, okay? Um, I think that me personally, I use it judiciously and I, I, I look at it as I'm adding it to an overall balanced, healthy li balanced diet and healthy lifestyle, okay? The best natural baking soda is a plant-based diet and a whole food plant-based diet because 
A plant-based diet contains high levels of base forming or bicarbonate forming precursors such as citrate, magnesium, potassium, succinate, and so forth. Um, and so, you know, this baking soda evidence that I've come across and my personal recent experience with it has highlighted my admiration for a whole food plant-based diet, okay? So, and I mentioned, lastly, I mentioned in my, uh, in one of my popular videos on how to build, which is best for building muscle, high protein or high carb diet, I actually mentioned this aspect of acid-base balance and how alkaline diets actually favor muscle growth in a very healthy way. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let Dr. Greger uh, take us home because I really like his perspective on this, so enjoy it. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you stopping by and tune in next time. Is alkaline water a scam? There are thousands of websites and pyramid schemes hawking $6,000 machines to alkalinize our tap water into miracle healing water. And not just any miracle healing water, but magical miracle healing water. The skeptics are skeptical. Alkaline water is described as an incredible fraud foisted on the public by desperate, deluded, glue-sniffing wannabes, asserting that there's no credible evidence in the scientific literature that there are any particular benefits. It turns out that they're both wrong. A new study found that compared to a control group drinking regular water, young adults drinking about a quart of alkalinized water a day dropped their bad cholesterol 10% within two months. That's pretty impressive. And older women may achieve a drop of nearly 15%. That's huge. And even help their blood sugars. If you and your doctor want to give it a try, you can make alkaline water this way, or this way, by adding 3 quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda to a liter or quart of water, you can save yourself $5,999.99. Now, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, so this would add about a gram of sodium to our daily diet, but sodium bicarb doesn't seem to have the same effect as sodium chloride, or table salt. In this study, those drinking the baking soda water had no change in blood pressure, and the other study actually found that they enjoyed a significant improvement in their blood pressure, but your physician will want to keep an eye on it. So alkaline water machines are indeed a scam, but alkaline water itself may not be.